Okay, I have the gasket sitting on there. The surface is cleaned. And uh, just uh, preparing myself to uh, get my bolts and all that sorted. And then it will be soon just put it on and start talking it down. Like I said in the previous video, I was zooming in the torque specification. This is how it's done when you buy the gasket from Persons Auto Parts, they give you the torque sequences. When I looked in the book, it actually says uh, 17 to 18, and then 44 to 46, and then 88 degrees, and then 92 degrees. But this one's actually different. I'm gonna go with this one, and probably the last step, I'm gonna go 92, 93 degrees. So, yeah, and always, always replace heads. I mean, sorry, bolts. Bolt, those bolts they stretch on the cylinder head and reusing them is not something that I would suggest so once you once you are about to put a cylinder head on just always replace the bolts they're not they're not that much they're not worth much just replace them and that's my biggest advice to anybody who's actually about to do the head gasket and yeah like if you're not really experienced mechanic or somebody who hasn't done this before, I would suggest you get professional advice because if things can go wrong anytime, so nothing's really guaranteed. This is my project. I'm not really telling anybody to follow my steps and then later on come back to me and say, hey, this is what you said, but it didn't work out for me. So anything you do at your own risk. But yeah, this is where we are today. And uh, we're about to bolt it on. And you can see how it goes is basically one and two, three and four, and then you go five and six, and then seven and eight, and then nine and ten. It's it's very vital that you follow those steps, as well as obviously using the torque specification numbers provided. So if you were to do this, good luck. And uh, I will put another video on right after I get it done. And I'll check the compression again and see what the compression is like just before I actually put it in the car.